How's it going, everybody? Hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day because it's Friday. Although, actually, I've got a pretty busy weekend. So this next 45 minutes or so that I'm playing Planet Crafter might be the highlight of my weekend. But it's still a great day, and I hope you're having a good day, too. So we are so, so close to unlocking our Tier 3 Tree Spreader. We are 9 GTI away. We did a lot to kick up our rates last episode, but we didn't launch any rockets, I don't think. No, actually, I think we launched four rockets. <laughs> now that I think about it, we launched four rockets. But I want to launch some more rockets. We're going to launch some rockets. That seems to be the biggest boost right now that we're going to get. So, yeah, let's start with that. Um, we're going to need... I'll build three just because I've already got three iridium rods. And zero super alloy. Awesome. Um, we could head to Oryx Cave. I th oh, yeah. I think we built a teleporter to Oryx Cave last time. So that would be really easy to just pop over there and see if we've got any more super alloy. I don't remember how, how long ago we last checked this ore extractor so it could be empty no we've got a good amount we've got a good amount that's good all right let's crush everything else this is one two three four five six seven that's enough to build three rockets but not to launch them so we will need to make just a little bit more super alloy And let's actually do that. Let me put this in here. I'm going to grab a couple magnesium and we'll head over to our, um, to Jacob's Valley where our, our aluminum is. And we'll use that to make some more super alloy. I'm bringing the magnesium because the last time I came out here and tried to turn everything to super alloy, I believe it was magnesium that we ran out of and we just weren't getting a ton of that from the ore extractor. So we'll bring some of this, we'll put it into the large storage that we have here. Like that. And then if we run out, we should have enough in there to to keep making super alloy. So <laughs> this time it seems to be silicon. Yeah, it's inconsistent. I, sh I shouldn't say inconsistent, it's random. What you get is random. There's four super alloy. What else do we need? Magnesium, silicon, and I think that's all we're going to get. Yeah, that's all we're going to get for now. So that's okay. Um, I'm going to bring all of this back with me. So that's enough super alloy to launch our rockets for now. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this tier three tree spreaders. That's going to be our final blueprint that affects our terraforming index. The remaining blueprints after that are just going to be our pulsar quartz and then the, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like the fusion crystal thing. But there will be nothing else to actually build, especially nothing that will improve our oxygen or heat or pressure or biomass or anything like that. By the way, big news. Um, I probably shouldn't <laughs> announce this just because it's not like set in stone yet, but I'm terrible with secrets. <laughs> uh, I, I am most likely, most definitely, most probably going to be starting a season three of Minecraft here pretty soon. There's been a lot of requests to do it. And uh, yeah, I think I'll start that back up. So probably after I finish this Planet Crafter series, I'll be doing that. But I'm, I'm loving playing these other games. 
And so I'm not going to switch completely back to Minecraft. I kind of talked this talked about this the other day uh, when I brought this up that I'm going to be making maybe one or two Minecraft episodes a week, but still playing something else in between all that. So, like I said, it's not set in stone. I haven't quite figured out how I want to do the Minecraft recordings just yet, but that's what I'm leaning very heavily towards doing. I think we're good on gas. I don't think I need to get any more methane right now for like overflowing. Yeah, I think what I need what I need is algae. Let's, I've been talking about building another algae generator. Let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, the bioplast nuggets. That's mushrooms, right? Two mushrooms, one silicon, one water. Okay. So we're not going to get any algae from our new algae generator right now, but it'll be there for the next time we need to do it. So we need two of those to water. Now we can make two bioplast nuggets. And what else do we need? Fertilizer, which I think, yeah, we've got some of that already made up. Uh, super al ooh, two super alloy, one magnesium, which I saw some of that in here, and then one water. That's okay. I think we've still got enough super alloy for our rockets. One, two, three. Yeah, we got seven. Each rocket's going to take two, so we'll have one left over. All right, let's head around slash over to this side I think I'll put it kind of over here there's a nice big open spot we'll do that and then we'll collect we're gonna need this algae right now to make the bio not bio bacteria samples and mutagens for the rockets that we're about to launch we dipped pretty heavily into our algae supply recently I think we started building it back up. I can't remember. I can't remember if we built it back up pretty well last episode or if we're still sort of bleeding algae. Considering that there wasn't a whole lot of algae growing out here, I feel like we may have ended by collecting algae. So that's probably a good thing. Yeah, we're doing good on algae. So let's see, I've got 10, 12. Let me get another one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. No, that's kind of pointless. <laughs> I can't I can't hold that much and all the water that I'm gonna need in my inventory at one time. Uh where does my tree seeds? My tree bark is gonna go in there. That finished. We don't have a mutagen, so we can't get another one started. So let's take care of this bacteria first. So get that water. That's eight water, so that's 16. I can get three more algae. And that should be enough for five bacteria samples. That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> Let me do that. <laughs> All right, and then I think, let's see if we can make five more. So there's six water, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 15 algae. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. And these five we're going to turn into mutagens. Ooh, we're getting super low on sulfur. I'll have to go clear that out here soon. All right. We should probably actually make more mutagens because we, we need the mutagens to make trees. Uh, let's do this one, see Nolna. Whereas I think the only thing that we're using bacteria for at this point is our rockets. I mean, obviously the mutagen, but on its own, I don't think we're using bacteria for anything. 
So we'll keep three of those. We'll grab three of these. We'll grab three tree seeds. I should probably set up some little area lamps in here. Because even though there are lights all the way around this room, it gets darker in here than it does these other rooms when it's nighttime. It's strange. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll grab up, come up here and grab our three rockets. And we are off to the races. So there's one. We'll launch that off. I think today I also want to move my heaters and drills. I think I've decided where I want to put those. And so I think we're going to do that while we sit around waiting for our TI to tick up to 49. Actually, we'll probably hit 49 and a half T GTI before <laughs> we can finish moving all those. Because I mean, those drills, for example, they require six components. Uh, sorry, six super alloy and three osmium, so nine components total. And so you can only like move, I think, four at a time before you fill up your inventory. So it's going to take multiple trips. But we've got teleporters to help. It just occurred to me. I can move my teleporter over to where the drills are and then set up a second teleporter at the exact spot where I want to move them to. And then I can just hop back and forth over and over. That's actually a really good idea. I don't know why that <laughs> didn't occur to me before. Now let's get some food. I'm doing real good on food now. And let's go see how that improved our rate. So now we're up to 7.3 million oxygen per second. So those three rockets uh, improved our overall GTI rate significantly more than the heat and pressure rockets would have. I don't want to completely just ignore heat and pressure at this point, but as far as getting the most bang for your buck, it's certainly going to be the O2. So. Let's do that. Let's start moving these things. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to break down my teleporter. And we'll start with our drills. Because I kind of want to do something a little fancy with the heaters. These teleporters are so cool. It, it occurred to me, once we have enough resources, to build more of these, it would actually be a good idea to just kind of carry around the resources to build one with you while you go exploring, kind of like you do with an outpost. And so just kind of go out, collect some stuff, your inventory fills up, build the teleporter, head back to your base, drop everything off, go back, deconstruct the teleporter, and just keep going. It's awesome. Ooh, I don't even know if we can get four. No, we're like one slot short of being able to deconstruct a fourth one. Uh, so let's go to... Let's go to Liz's cave. I think that's going to be a little bit closer to what I have in mind. And... Do we have enough... Did we leave ourselves enough room to move the teleporter? Yes, that's only six components. So let's fill up on oxygen. And this cave has no water. We might have wanted to bring some water with us. <laughs> I think we're good on water. It's not going to take too long to plop these things down. So this is where I want to move them. I think I talked about this last time. Uh, putting our heaters and drills up here in this area. This area just looks so cool. And... It's one of the newer areas, so I haven't really done a whole lot of exploring or building or anything up here yet. So it's all still kind of new to me. But it's also not really that flat. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. <laughs> we got to unload. So let me put this teleporter down right there. Let me name it. Um, that's the... <laughs> sorry. I did that without even thinking about it. That's the, the programmer in me. 
<laughs> I like to leave comments in temporary code to make it clear that this is temporary. So this is our temp drills location. Uh, so I think I'm just going to spread the drills around kind of here and there. I'm not going to make any sort of pattern or like group them up. I just kind of want to take over this landscape with drills. But at the same time, keep them fairly close together because if for some reason, like if we decide to move them again, I don't want to have to spend an hour <laughs> wandering around trying to find everything. So let me name this one also. And picked up a bunch of stuff, so let me go drop that off and get some water. There's no water where we're at, on the other side of where we're at. I think we picked up some seeds. So I'll drop those off in here. The flower, I'm just going to put that in here just to... I don't want to go over to my bio lab right now. Drop that off, drop that off. Those and those. And that. Now we can head back. So yeah, we're at 46.3. Engine our way up to 49. Definitely going to hit that today. Really excited about that. I don't remember what the tier 3 tree spreaders require to uh, construct. But I imagine it's going to involve <laughs> zeolite and the tier 2 fertilizer. Probably some osmium as well. And I'm suspecting multiples of those. Alright, I think one more trip will do it for our drills. Is that the last of it? I think so. Alright, so these last two, we'll put them over here. There we go. Yeah, I think that actually looks really cool. I don't know if I'm ever going to build like a proper base or outpost. I've got my little outpost over there. So I don't know if I'm going to build anything else over here. So just having it kind of dominated by all of this industrial equipment, I think looks pretty cool. Let me go check this other chest over here. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that stuff. So... I also want to move my heaters, but like I said, I want to do something a little bit different with them. So let's move our teleporter just a little bit. I'm going to put them over here. And what I want to do with my heaters, we've got this really awesome sort of sand waterfall. And I kind of want to start lining the rim of it with heaters and, and our nuclear reactors, like the, the green ones. So I'm thinking of alternating those things, like heater, nuclear reactor, heater, reactor, heater, reactor. So let's see how that goes. Let's name this temp. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> Since we moved our drill, we're not exactly next to our outpost anymore. But it's all right. We made it. With that in mind, <laughs> might be a good idea to uh, set up a little outpost over by where we're building all this stuff. So I think we can get several of these in one trip. Yeah. I think this is only going to take us two trips. So let's start over here. These things, I'm so glad that these are always upright. The drills, they tend to like lean 
so that they're always kind of perpendicular to whatever point on the ground they're above, which is uh, kind of annoying. But they're also like huge with their legs spread out, so it kind of makes sense. The heaters are always upright, which is nice because this is not level terrain. So we'll start with one here. And then mm, we need to leave space for the reactors. Tell you what, let's do this. I don't want to build all of the heaters and then come back and fill them in, put the reactors in between, because I, I don't think I'm going to be able to eyeball it very well. I think I need to alternate heater, reactor, heater, reactor. Oh, goodness. There's not a whole lot in here. I mean, there's not a whole lot of space. There's actually a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of good stuff, too. I forgot to come back and empty this out. All right, we'll, we'll do it this way. We'll just old school, pick up the resources. We'll build ourselves a little outpost. And then we'll get a couple more iron and put a large storage container in there. Empty out all of our heater components and then go back for the reactors. So let's find three iron. There's one. It's kind of nice being in an area that we haven't really spent a whole lot of time in, especially a lot of time gathering resources because uh, we can actually find resources again. Ooh, I'll take those. Whereas right around our base, like we picked it all clean. There's, there's no iron there anymore. There's no titanium. There's a little bit of co cobalt. All right, so large storage, and then we'll dump pretty much everything. I think, uh, I, I picked some of this up from a chest, so I'll take that back with me. All right, let's go unload this stuff, refill our water. I'll pick up some beans. I'm not gonna eat them just yet, but I wanna have those on me for just a mo in in just a moment when we need them. Ooh, we're at forty nine. So close. So unfortunately, it it does mean kind of breaking down this really cool little display that we've set up, but. I kind of, from the very beginning of the series, I wanted to do a little bit more expanding than I've done in previous playthroughs. In previous playthroughs, I built everything just right there where I started. And I wanna, it's a big map. I wanna spread out. Oh no. Huh? <gasps> oh, I wonder if that's a bug. <laughs> I would think you can't teleport if there's not enough power. Hmm. All right, so let's set this up. I want to leave a little bit of space in between them. So we'll do that. We'll head in here. Uh, what do we need for a heater? Three super alloy. Two iridium rods. So yeah, I think I've got one extra super alloy. All right, so our next one is kind of <laughs> teleporters in the way. Let me move this. Ooh, you know what? I have a good idea. There's our tree spreader. Awesome. I'm going to set up a foundation grid. Oh, you can't rotate these. Apparently, they have to be 90 degrees. So, yeah, that looks like... These are about one foundation grid apart. So I'll use this to, to measure out the spacing. That's a really good idea. Why, thank you.
it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want there to be like a huge gap between some and others to be like right next to each other. Yeah, this is starting to look pretty good. Um, I've started to lose the curve, so <laughs> let me actually move this one forward just a bit. I, I want them to follow the curvature of uh, of this area. How's that looking? That's better. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Let's set our teleporter back up. And you know what, though? If deconstructing two of our nuclear uh, reactors made us run out of power, then uh, we might not have enough power for these tier three tree spreaders. Let's go see. Oh, you know, we don't have to go anywhere. So two tier two fertilizer, one zeolite, super alloy, bacteria, tree bark, and they use 193 energy. Oof, big oof. How are we doing on energy? So we've got 466. And I think until we finish moving everything, we're like right there on the threshold. That I think I actually need to just move these one at a time now. So let me actually move this teleporter because I'm just going to be taking my uh, fusion generators. These aren't fusion, the nuclear reactors, whatever they are. Nuclear reactors. I'm going to be taking all these first. I think, yeah, I've got the stuff for two more heaters. So I'll throw that down there. Oh, speaking of which, heater is what we need to build next. Move this over and build another nu few nuclear nuclear reactor. The nuclear reactor and fusion generator. I keep getting those mixed up, mangled. Kind of right there. So how's this looking? It's looking awesome. I'm really excited to get all these things moved over. I don't have enough to fill up the entire rim, but we're going to be building more. You know we're going to be building more. So that was the fusion, no, no, it was the nuclear, <laughs> nuclear reactor. So we'll build another heater right next to it. Oh, no, oh, I was selecting the tier three heater, another tier four heater right next to it. We'll move the foundation grid, and then I think we need to go back for the next, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm done trying to keep them straight. All right. This is looking really good. I especially love the the fact that both of these things light up. They glow. It looks really cool. I, I'm looking forward to going down there and looking at it from the ground once we once we're done. Actually, I might go back that way rather than take my teleporter because we need to stop through Hot Lemon Valley and get more sulfur. We're almost out of sulfur. I think we used up. No, we've got. Yeah, we got the supplies for one more heater before we need to break down more. All 
All right, so let's go through Hot Lemon Valley. We'll get some more sulfur. We'll take a look at how this looks from below. Hopefully I didn't build these things so far back from the edge that you can't really see them from down here. Oh yeah, there's a couple of flowers down here that we saw last time, but our inventory was full, so we couldn't collect them. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, that's going to look amazing. If, if we can build enough heaters and nuclear reactors to fill this entire thing, that is going to look absolutely amazing. Getting a little bit low on water, but there's water in the Iridium Cave, so I'm not too worried about it. Oof. There's only four sulfur in there. That hurts. Yeah, we've got enough water to get back. I know, I know. But we're good. So I'll swing by the bio base first. We'll get some water, we'll drop off our sulfur. And even though we've unlocked the tier 3 tree spreader, actually, you know what? I could, uh, I could start breaking down some of these tier 1 tree spreaders. They don't use a ton of energy, so we're not going to get a whole lot back. It's only 31, but it's something. So let me do that. Let me deconstruct this. What did we get back? We got back bacteria samples, super alloy, tier one fertilizer, bioplast nugget, throw that in there. Ooh, we got back the, the top three items. We need two of these, which I think requires a tier one. Yeah, so algae squash and methane. Uh, I think it was just one squash. But two methane. I only clicked on one. There we go. And then a zeolite. And we can build our very first tier three tree spreader. And we've got our tree seed serna. That's only 125%. Let me head over to one of these tier two tree spreaders that we marked that we know has a pleome. And we'll swap these guys out means we'll also take that to avoid confusion all right let's build this first one over here these things actually spread out really really far so let's, yeah i mean look at that the green ring around it is huge and they actually grow out farther than that i don't know why the rings aren't completely accurate all right so that is 25 parts per trillion which is 2500 parts per quadrillion plus 680 grams of biomass. Let's check one of our tier two tree spreaders. That's 2.4 parts per trillion. So that's 10 times as much oxygen. That's basically like launching another rocket. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, ten million O2 per second. I think we were at seven earlier. That's huge. Wow. How are we doing on energy now? We've still got 150 available, which isn't enough. <laughs> oh. Goodness, if we if we keep moving these nuclear reactors, we're going to run out of energy. So I think rather than moving those, let's actually start by building some new ones. We need three uranium rods, one super alloy. Can I make... Ooh, I don't have enough uranium to make three more uranium rods. Um, we could call down a, a meteor storm, but that's going to take some time. 
You know what? There is... Let's head up to our map. Because I think there's a uranium mine that I haven't really tapped out yet. So this this is the uranium mine that I went to pretty early on in the series. Yeah, yeah, there's one up here. There's one up here. So if we head over to Oryx Cave, we can dash over to that and get some more uranium. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? We got <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory that we need to offload. We're going to grab this mutagen. And we'll pop in one of these plant vulnus, which should give us a mora. I think that's one of the 150%. Yeah, so that's good. Put the other one in here. I'll offload our four sulfur. That's, that's pitiful. Where'd this magnesium? Oh, oh, that was from the area lamp that we deconstructed. Um, we'll drink, we'll grab some food, and then we'll head over to Oryx Cave to go get some uranium. Actually, actually, we'll take the teleporter to our sand ridge. We'll construct a new nu uh, nuclear reactor. And get that stuff out of our inventory. Oh, I forgot the water and explosive powder. <laughs> That's all right. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away thanks to these teleporters. Got to rename that one. All right, so we've got the explosive powder, I'm pretty sure. We ran out the other day, but then I think we made a lot more to replace it. Yeah, we got one. We got one. We're going to need to make more. <laughs> we need more than just the one extra nuclear reactor. Make sure I got it everything this time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I thought for a moment that I left something behind okay so this is looking really good I think we can probably get one two three four if we can get like five more things on this side of that huge rock so we're doing okay over here all right so let's head over to Oryx cave and then we need to head this way see if we can find that uranium mine Grab the stuff for a new little outpost over here. I think I may set up an area lamp over here just to get those components out of my inventory. All right, where is this thing? You know, it might have been smart. Would have been to bring the materials to craft a, a uh, map screen, a map display. So I could, if, if I can't find it, just make the display and check the map and see where I'm at. It seemed like it was kind of close to this little rocky outcrop. Oh yeah, here we go. Cool, cool. All right, so let's set up an outpost right outside the door here. It's kind of a funky spot for this thing. I'm just gonna put this lamp here. It doesn't really serve a purpose. I just don't 
wanted to get those materials out of my inventory. So we can probably get enough uranium for one more uh, tier 2 nuclear reactor. Because it takes three uranium rods, which is going to be 21 uranium. We're not going to find 21 uranium in here. But we've still got some uranium back at our base. I think the big thing is finding uranium rods in the chests that are still laying around in the world. I think we actually left one behind uh, over in the area that we're moving our heaters and nuclear reactors to. I think I opened a chest over there and there was a uranium rod inside and I left it because I didn't want to clutter up my inventory. Alright, so... Oh! You know what? Duh! <laughs> we can build a tier 2 reactor in one of these caves. Start harvesting the stuff. So certainly not today's episode, but that is that is a better option than continuously launch, uh, calling down rockets or launching rockets to call down meteors. Because even though it's nice to just have free uranium, it's a lot of work. So we'll head back over to hop hop. Let me hmm. Let's start over. We'll head back over to Oryx Cave. Get the remaining uh, super alloy from that drill. And then head back to home base. Destroy all this stuff. Grab the super alloy. We'll TP home. Eat our beans. And then we'll build another, a new nuclear reactor. So we've got five, let's sort this stuff. There's 10, 15. Uh, we need 21 total. So there's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What? Oh, right, math. 27. <laughs> so we need six, six more. 21. What? Okay, so three water, one super alloy. And I'm also going to break down one more heater, and we'll bring that with us because we need another heater to go after the nuclear reactor we just built before we build another nuclear reactor. Uh, this fertilizer, let's put this over here while we're here. Okay, yeah, we got all the stuff for that. Let's go break down a heater. We'll head back over to the... Uh, I need to name that thing because I keep not knowing what to call it, the, the sand waterfall. So let's also grab a magnesium and another magnesium. And there's iron out there. So I'll just pick up an iron from the ground. There's magnesium out there too. I didn't need to pick up both of those. So let's do this first. We'll move this foundation grid over, set up another heater. Move this over, build another nuclear reactor. All right, find another iron. And I'll build, I'll build a little light lamp kind of right here facing this way. And then let's name this place. 
Oh, cool. You can rotate these signs. It makes sense. I just never tried it before. I've all, aside from these lampposts, I've only ever put these on flat surfaces. And for all the lampposts I put it on, I was already facing the direction I wanted it. So this will be Shanana Falls. I hope I'm... I have a hard enough time with names. And then he, once you start getting into like people's usernames, there's no telling how to pronounce these. But Shanana has been uh, keeping up with my Planet Crafter series and leaving a lot of really encouraging comments. And so I really appreciate all of your feedback. And this is Shanana Falls where we are moving our heaters and our nuclear reactors. And this is looking so cool. I really like how this is turning out. Okay, we've got more heaters and reactors that we need to move, but since we just unlocked our tier three tree spreader, I kind of want to build one more of those. I don't want to end the episode having only built one. So let's head back into our bio base. Let's get some algae, because we're going to need to build, construct, produce more uh, bacteria. We'll build, we'll finish up by building one more tier three tree spreader. Question is, where are we going to build it? Still got that microchip in my inventory. We've unlocked every microchip blueprint, so I don't know what to do with it. All right, so what do these take? Uh, two tier two fertilizer, which is gonna take one tier one fertilizer, algae, some mushrooms, not mushrooms, um, squash. We've got all this food. I don't know what to do with it. We're <laughs> we've filled up our inventory for eggplants. I guess we'll leave the other eggplants there to grow. And do we start regrowing mushroom uh, squash now that we're actually using it? That might be the way to go. And then methane. Okay, so we've got the bacteria samples. We can drop one of those off because we're only going to need two. Now we need tree bark, zeolite, and super alloy. Plus one of these. Do we have any more mutagen? I want to build that second one. So let's actually take one of those bacteria samples back. Turn it into a mutagen. And we'll get this other seedfulness going. To make another tree seed Amora. Um, oh, that I need a tree seed. So we've got this tree seed Amora. Um, I'll find one of the golden seeds that's in the tier two tree spreaders. Do we do that? Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't need this. I only need <laughs> I only need one tree tree bark. Let's go. Let's go check our tier one tree spreaders. I don't think any of them have golden seeds in them anymore. Or the se tree seed pleome. Oh, actually, this one looks like it might. Hey yo! We'll get rid of that because compared to our tier three tree spreaders, those tier ones are just absolutely pitiful at this point. All right, for this second one, let's go ahead and build it over here. Oh, zeolite. Forgot the zeolite. And actually, maybe we move this one. What do we have in there? We've got a Cerna. Let's 
get our zeolite. I think if we build a tier 3 tree spreader right behind this, then it may actually be too close to this one. Yeah, that's going to be too close. So we'll build this right here. We'll put our tree seed pleom in there. And then let's move this one. Move it where? We're not going to move it closer to our base. That is going to build trees or grow trees probably out to about right here. So maybe, maybe we put it over here, kind of fill this gap in between these two tree spreaders and our iridium cave. And really this thing is kind of temporary. I mean, all of our, eventually I want to replace all of our tree spreaders with the tier three tree spreaders. We don't have the power and we don't have the resources to do that right now. But eventually I'd like to get there. All right, so let's put this stuff away. And then I think this is going to be kind of where we wrap things up for the day. So we still got a couple of heaters and nuclear reactors to move. Probably do that next time, as well as building some more tier three tree spreaders. Because each of those is just massive. It's like 2,900 base, plus we've launched like eight or 10 oxygen rockets. So yeah, that added like 2.8 million <laughs> total O2 production. Just that adding another, uh, look at this. We're still only 6% towards insects. It's crazy. So what's coming up next? We're at 2064 GTI. Our Pulsar Quartz is the next blueprint to unlock at 175. That's really far away, but building more of these tier three tree spreaders is really going to help get us there a lot faster. So that may be... That may be, I would guess, three three more episodes away from that. And then this fusion energy cell, yeah, that's like a month. <laughs> Not really, but it's so far away. <laughs> all right, that's going to wrap things up for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward to the next episode. We can really start spreading some more trees. And I will see you next time. Take care, guys.